brought to you that's made up to work with the pneumatic actuator. Uh, these slots have a little bit of grease in them, but you can see that they're slots. They don't go all the way through the wall, but they are for a, a, a safety pin that will go in there and prevent this torque, to, this uh, draw tube from, from rotating different than the spindle rotates, which would, make, which would back it out. So this area right here is polished because there's a seal in there that it runs against, or a guide. On the back here, there's four uh, hundred thousandths deep holes. Typically, the 5C collet would screw into the torque tube, into the draw tube, but in this case, uh, it, this has smaller threads for this little collet, which actually goes in there. Uh, it goes in, in a little adapter that's in there, so I'll show you that in a second. But the rest of the draw tube features are just that it has to be smooth in the back, and we made this up. You can buy these from the company that makes the uh, the actuator. These four uh, dog point set screws are going to screw in, into these holes. So it's not just a compression thing, they're actually, they're actually in the holes. So this thing isn't going anywhere. These uh, slots, you have four different slots so that you can, you only have to adjust it 90 degrees before you're going to hit one of those slots. And then this is the pin. The pin is on, it's threaded, it's got a little uh, spring on it, but I wasn't able to get that to really work for me. So you basically you screw it down or screw it up. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up then I'm going to put the, put the draw tube all the way through and you'll see it'll hit that seal or the guide right there. So you get a little bit of resistance and then it smooths out when it gets to the smooth spot. I think that the easiest way to line these, these uh, set screws up is to take one of them out and then you can look inside the hole and when that guy lines up, then all, all four were lined up and you can start screwing in these outside ones. This is a big knurled knob that they put on here, which makes it really, and now of course it's attached to the draw tube, so it makes it very convenient to turn it. So I'm just going to hold the little collet in the front. Right now, the, uh, the actuator is all the way, the piston and the actuator is all the way forward. So you can see that I can pull this, I can pull the collet all the way in, and then I can just crank it out as, as much as I want. And that's probably plenty for that little collet, but just so you can see it move more, I'm going to crank it out a little bit further. So now we have, the, we have the draw tube where we want it, we have the collet adjusted in and out. Now we're going to put this little pin down just by turning it. And now if I rotate this, it's going to soon hit one of those slots and engage you here. Very well. So now we're, now we're hooked up and the, the draw tube cannot come loose. Uh, Dunham. Dunham is a tool company is one that makes this actuator. And it's a fabulous and high quality piece, you know, American made, so very happy about that also. What you have to supply is an anti-rotation device because this is free to turn. So I just added a little plate in the back here and then put these, these two eighth inch uh, nipples in here. So I, I got um, Schedule 80 stainless steel nipples. These are quick connects and they just, you just push them in. They come out like that. They're called push to connect. Pretty common fittings. So once these, once you take these out and take these two bolts off, this aluminum plate will slide right off, right up over top of these fittings. So at that point, and you can take, you can get the belt out and fish it out like that. And it's turn, turning the whole time, or you can stop it to get the piece out, the work piece out. There you go. So that's, that's pretty much it.